When you arrive here, it really is as if you're in a new world. The rocks themselves really do give the appearance that you are on Mars. Another similarity is the cabin these would-be astronauts live in. It's like the home they would have on Mars. The main reason for having a cylinder-shaped habitat is because this is what will fit most efficiently inside a rocket or the space shuttle. There'll be a living habitat. It won't be very big, it'll be crowded, but it'll be adequate. If you've got people who can get along with each other, it's a big enough space. These are all the names of the previous crew members that have slept in this cabin. The crew members have varied from astronaut candidates and NASA scientists to geologists and writers. As for food, Mars itself will provide it. Thanks, Patrick. When we go to Mars, there'll be a place where we're growing food. Because Mars is so far away, we don't want to have to carry food with us. We'd like to be able to grow it there. So we grow it using the Martian resources. The Martian Earth, the Martian atmosphere, which is almost totally carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Humans will die in Martian air, but plants will live off the Martian air.